Whoa, all right, y'all. Look, we got one box of Ritz crackers. And now we're using our new tool, and we're going to crush these up. Yep, I, I, I think this is a cracker crushing tool. So I'm going to use it as so. It works real good, y'all. All right, there's some crackers flying around, but that's all right. We're making a delicious, easy dessert, y'all. I love Ritz crackers, and I love my new kitchen tool. You know what, y'all? I actually bought this tool because y'all told me to. I think it's a meat masher or something, but guess what? It's good for mashing crackers, too. Oh, you know what else I could use? I could use my hands. Yep, look at that. Guess what? I'm not wearing gloves. No gloves here. No gloves here. All right. So we're just going to break these up into small piece, smallish pieces. Yep, this is so fun. Y'all, you know what's real fun? Playing with your food. Remember when you were a little kid and your mama said, don't play with your food? Well, guess what? Now I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want, mama. That's right. I play with my food. All right, that's great. That's good. There's some big chunks. That's totally fine. All right, let's get these cracker, cracker crumbs off my hands. All right, next we have some little marshmallows. Little baby marshmallows right on top. I'm going to move them around. And you know what? We're going to use like one and a half bags, all right? One and a half bags of these little baby marshmallows. Okay, we're saving the rest for later. Just like that. All right, y'all. You know what else we're doing? A little bit of sea salt. A little bit. Sea salt is delicious on desserts. Y'all are going to love this dessert. All right, now we have some butter. Butter squares are going right on top of our marshmallows. Just like so. Just like so. All right, y'all, I'm so excited. Y'all know what I'm making? We still have one more step after this. We got to put this in the oven, but delicious, easy dessert, all in one pan, and it's yummy. That's all. All right, so we're going to put the rest of these right here. All right, y'all, we're going to put this in the oven at 350, uh, about 10 minutes at the most. I'm going to keep an eye on it, but we just want the marshmallows to get soft and the butter to melt, y'all, and then we'll do our next step. All right, y'all, this was in the oven for about 12 minutes, all right? So you can tell when it's uh, ready, when the marshmallows start turning a little brown. So now what we're going to do here, we're going to mix this up. We're going to just incorporate all this together. So remember, we had our whole package of Ritz crackers, and then we had our uh, one and a half packages of marshmallows, all right? The rest of our marshmallows from that bag, and we're going to fold these in, all right? So they're going to melt a little from the heat from the rest of this, but... Um, if they don't, that's all right too. It gives it texture, it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna do the next step. I love Rolos, y'all. These are some of the best candies ever. So we're actually gonna add two packages. I'm just gonna put one in and I'm gonna mix it a little bit. Y'all have any other suggestions how to mix this better? Cause it's kind of hard. All right, and then you know what y'all? I'm just gonna kind of like push these in the top because I, I like these to be on top. I feel like a nice layer on top will be real good. So I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna push this in a little bit. I don't think I need, I, I can mix it more, but guess what? My arm hurts, so we gonna leave it. So there might be some chunks of crackers in some places and some chunks of Rolos in some places, but guess what, y'all? It's gonna be delicious, all right? So if y'all wanna make a pretty design with these Rolos, be my guest, but guess what? To me, this looks pretty already. I call this abstract art right here, all right? So y'all, we're gonna let this set. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Um, you could also just leave it on the counter to set up and then we're gonna cut into it. Y'all are gonna love this delicious, easy Ritz cracker Rolo treats. All right, y'all, I had this sitting in my fridge uh, maybe about an hour or so. Okay, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I already had a bite because I couldn't help myself, but let's do it on camera so y'all can see my real reaction. But uh, y'all, this is my first time ever making this, okay? That's what I gotta say. And it's real hard to cut, but that's okay. My husband, Fred, was looking at this in the fridge, and I could see. I said, Fred, don't you dare touch that yet. I got to do it on camera. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this out. Okay, I just, I'm, I'm going to try, but um, I'm not sure. Let's see if this is going to work, y'all. Because guess what? If it don't work, okay. Yup, I got it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, y'all. This is like, hold on. Oh, my goodness, y'all. <laughs> I'm so excited. Y'all, look at this. Oh, hold on. I cut inside one of those Rolos. You see that caramel? All right. All right, y'all. So guess what? It's time to eat. I'm so excited. I mean, how am I even supposed to eat this? All right. You know what, y'all? I think, uh, I think, uh, I think I can't control myself. Y'all, I already had a bite, y'all. This is like the best thing I ever ate. I'm not even kidding. I'm doing it before and I'm doing it after. It is so good. Mmm.